Hey, how's it going? I want to do a quick video and just show you guys how I'm able to get two separate videos playing through ProPresenter at the exact same time. One is going uh, to the live stream, one is going to my in-house audience. Uh, and if you're having tr uh, trouble with this and trying to get it figured out, uh, I have a solution for you. So here we go. I didn't come up with this on my own. I watched a guy named Rylan Russell. He was doing something similar and uh, they're using an a, 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 um, exterior offboard gear and I'm not doing that, I'm doing this all through ProPresenter. But basically what we wanted to happen here at the end of our service, we have this, uh, this little video, it's just a little new to our church video and if you're new to our church, you can have, um, it's basically just you know, give them a website. But then we wanted also at the exact same time that's playing in the sanctuary to have a different video playing online that is for the online uh, audience only. The, our issue that what we were, what we were, the issue we were having is we were putting it in, using the props layer. This is the only way I've figured out how to do this. Is is you, we have our props. So here's our ending video. When we drag it onto our slide for in house, and what would happen is when we'd press it, they would both play, but we would hear both audios through in house. We hear both audios through the live stream, and it was very very frustrating. We couldn't separate those. It seems um, um, we couldn't have you know one playing in-house and one playing outhouse, uh, or sorry, on outhouse, online, and so that, that was our issue. So what we did to get around this is what Ryan Russell did. He, he, went, he came over to here to his props, and if you go to your prop and you right click, you can click the edit tab here. When you go to the edit, you click on your, your media, whatever it happens to be, and you'll see an inspector. When you, sit, uh, you click on inspector, and then you want to click on this little tab right here. Uh, what tab is this? Audio tab. Uh, you can go to change routing and yours will be in one and two. These won't be here. You need to change this to three and four and get rid of one and two. What that will do is that will stop this prop from sending audio to your main output, right? Because you want your main output to be going into your, your board, whether it be X32 or whatever you're using. You want your main output to be going to your live audience so they're hearing the music in-house and you want this prop to be going out your live stream, which is three and four. Uh, in our case, we have three and four. If you don't know how to get three and four, you gotta go up here to preferences. You have to go to audio. You can change this to three and four. Uh, and in your, so your, your main output is, you know, for us, it's one and two. And we have it system setting, but we use an Apple TV. Uh, it's a different video if you wanna watch that one. We have this system setting thing going on. Uh, with one and two, and then our live stream we use three and four. If you come up to here to where our live stream is, capture settings for our live, we are using um, three and four, and then our in-house stuff is going uh, through one and two. And so when you do that and you switch that to three and four, now when you come up here and you click on, on this, what happens is, uh, I don't know if you can see this, but we have audio going to three and four, and uh, th this particular video does not have audio for in-house, uh, but we'll go to a different one that does. Let's say this one, okay? So we have, uh, this is the same thing. We have, you can see this audio is going nuts and this one's not. These are two different videos. This one is online with the lady uh, talking. And then we have our, this is in-house. There's no lady talking on this one. And you can see the difference uh, taking place. So we have one, two totally separate things. Going, one going to live stream and one coming to in-house, two videos and two separate audios. Hopefully that helps you and helps you fix some of the issues that you're having. If you need more help, you can uh, ask me some comments in the, below and I'll try to help you a little bit if I can. And uh, hopefully, hopefully um, the issues you're having can be solved the same way my issues were having. This does create a snag if you wanna play like a, uh, let's say a, um, a preaching video or a video from outsource where you want to pr play that, you then have to, um, if you, because if you, let's say that, you know, um, uh, let's say this is the video, right? If, if we want to play this video, we want both in-house and online audience to watch it. When you play it, we only have audio uh, coming through, through one source. This one is me talking, but through this source, we only have this one, we only have this one, one audio going. And that creates an issue. So what you have to do there is you have to actually create, uh, where's my video going? What you, got, what you have to do there is if you wanna play a video through both, you actually have to put your video into, your, into, your, into here. Then you have to create a prop for that video and do the same thing, put prop to three, four, 
and, and put it on there. When you, hit, when you fire this video, you'll actually fire the video for in-house and the prop for live stream, but they'll be exactly at the same time and you'll have perfect audio for both. So hopefully that makes sense and uh, that helps you. So let me know. Have a great one.